Okay, the goal of this tutorial is to get it so you can connect to a SQL Server database using C Sharp. We're going to use all basic C Sharp available libraries. You won't need any third party tools. We're going to use the AdventureWorks database today. So let's start out by just examining the data a little bit. Let's grab the top thousand rows here from this view. And so let's just use this view and let's display the first and last name of all the employees. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is create a new project. And we'll create a console application. And we'll just call this connecting to SQL with C sharp. Let's take the sharp off there. It won't work anyway. Okay. Now when this comes up, we're going to see the typical program.cs, see a very basic uh, application in front of us. And what we want to do is establish a connection to the database first. So the first thing we're going to do is build a little SQL connection object here. You can use the smart tag here to add the using tag. And we're going to build it with server equal, and we're just going to do dot slash SQL Express. If you've got Visual Studio installed like I do, you're going to have a SQL Express instance that comes by default. And we're going to set the database equal to AdventureWorks 2008. And I think it was R2. Yep. Now remember the idea of my videos is that you know, this isn't totally scripted, it's me programming with you, so, um, you know, we're learning together, we're working together, it's just like sitting next to you, okay? And so, uh, we're going to go ahead and close that up, and the other thing that we're going to want to get is, we need to go over here and put an additional backslash in there. So the other thing we're going to do is now go ahead and open that connection. Okay. And let's just use a SQL data reader. That's what we're going to walk through with today. So we're going to need a command. And it's going to be select first name, last name, from. Copy that. Okay. And we're going to issue execute reader on it. And that's going to give us back a SQL data reader. Okay. So we'll assign that. And now what we're going to do is the SQL data reader has a read operation. And I'll let you see it here. It just returns a boolean. So what we're going to do is we're going to say while reader.read. And then we're going to pull a couple fields off of it, right? The, first, the only two we've actually selected anyway. And we're just going to say console.writeline. And we're going to say reader dot get string it's gonna ask us for an index and we'll say a zero and we also need the other the other field so reader dot get string one and then we're gonna give it a a format we're gonna say you know what let's just do let's do last name comma first name so it's gonna be a one here and then a zero Okay. And with any luck, we'll be able to say close, close, and if 
debugger. Dot is attached. Console dot readline. Want to do that because if you're inside the debugger, the screen will just disappear immediately after. I uh, won't give you an option to press any key to continue. So we've opened our connection. We've established a command we want to run against the database. We've created a reader. We're going to read through that reader one row at a time, throw it out to the console. We're going to close everything up and we're going to go ahead and issue a read line so we can see the, the results. All right, let's run it. And something failed. Login failed for user empty. Okay, good. Glad we saw that. The issue here is that we need to say uh, integrated security equal true. Okay, the issue there is we didn't put a connection in. This is all the process of debugging. These are tips and, and tools and tricks and stuff you need to learn. This is how you debug your code. This is why we do it this way. This is why we don't script it. This is why we don't, you know, well, this is how you do it perfectly the first time. Well, that's not real life. That's not programming. Yeah, there we go. We got everything from the database. Last name, comma, first name. Had a few bugs along the way. But that's how easy it is to connect to a SQL Server database using C Sharp. And you could apply this code to uh, any application, Windows, web, console, whatever you want. But that's all it takes. It's very simple, straightforward, right out of the box. You don't need anything third party. Well, I hope that this has been informational. I hope that you've learned something from debugging. You know, you've learned how to debug your code a little bit even by watching me debug mine. And uh, until next time, happy coding.